Damn it, Waka! I said retract harpoon, not remove. Go get that harpoon. It's a perfectly good harpoon. And if you see Titus that while you're there, okay, I guess you could rescue him if you have to. If you see him along the way, but don't go out of your way to find him or anything, because he's kind of dead. I'm H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X! I took a day off because I was drinking too much water. Whoa. But now we're back. Hey, hey, all right. Thanks for the potion. Or Phoenix Down, or whatever the hell you used on me. I don't know. Someone was asking me, H.C. Bailey, how could you revive someone in a cutscene? You can't do that in Final Fantasy. Well, my logic is that we haven't gotten the victory theme yet, so we're still in, in battle mode. So even though, yeah, it's a cutscene, we, we're, we can still revive people. For boss time! Okay, first things first. We want to use cheer. I want to use that five times so that way I can overkill this boss just like I overkilled the last one. So let's get a dark attack on him so that way he can't hit us very much. There we go. Now you want to keep an eye on his HP. We need to deal... Well, he has 2,000 HP. And... You have to overkill him with 400 damage. Or finish him with 400 damage in order to overkill him. So, let's see. Do we need to heal up? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think we can just uh, attack a little bit. So, go nuts, Swaka. So, yeah, keep an eye on how much damage you deal to him. Once you've dealt about 1,600 damage, then you should be able to overkill him with Titus pretty easily. So, yeah, that's basically what I'm trying to do is just cheer up. Waka and Titus because they're drowning. They need it. And that way I can overkill the boss. And get some more items. Let's see. No, I think I'll hold off for now. We can wait a little while longer. Uh-oh. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ow! That oh, wasn't that bad. What is this? Is that four or five? I think that's five. Okay, well, we're good to go. So let's attack the guy then. Well, yeah, probably healing would be better. Yeah, let's just cheer up one more time, just in case I miscounted or something. I'm always paranoid that I didn't quite get the maximum number of cheers. Oh, wow. Well. Oh! That's... I should have used Dark Attack on him instead of healing. Well, not that it's a big deal, but... I probably should have done that. Oh, well. Well, we've almost got the guy anyway, so... Let's see. Just thinking if I want to... Nah, we can... We almost got him. A couple more hits, and I should have him in overkill range. I almost said overdrive range, but, uh... Actually, yeah, that would make sense, too. But that's not what I'm here for. What I'm here for is getting more drops. If I can survive. Man, what is it with all the tentacles in this game, anyway? Don't answer that, viewers. Go, Titus, go! Yeah! Overkill! Yeah! Phew! And hopefully I will get the drop that I want from this guy. Not that it's really that hard. One of the nice things about bosses, is, from this point on pretty much, is that they're pretty much guaranteed to drop a piece of equipment. And I want to get a weapon that has water strike on it if I can. Yes! Okay, got it. This is actually my third attempt at recording this, and I didn't get it the first two times. But, uh, now I've got it. If you don't get a Water Strike weapon from the boss, don't worry, it's not that critical. But it is pretty easy to get from him, and it would be pretty beneficial if you can get one for either Titus 
or Waka, because there's a lot of water or enemies that are weak to water that you can use those wep their weapons on. Like these guys, they're pretty weak to water. Oh look, a tidal wave! These guys must be from the Zeal Kingdom. Nah, no, nah, that's another game. Whoa! What's happening to everyone? I thought Sin just like attacked places or something with lasers and monsters and stuff. What's all this got to do with it? What's love got to do with it? Man. It's the suck zone. Everyone's getting sucked into his blowhole there. Look at the pretty ball. When Sin attacked Xanarkin that day, I woke up in Spira. Well... I kept hoping it would work in reverse, too. Well, apparently not. I will defeat Sin. I must defeat Sin. Will you help me, Titus? I was just fooling myself. Yeah, you can never get a girl like that. Maybe it was that day on the sea, under the burning sun. I started to give up hope. I was in a foreign world. I wasn't going home. Yeah, well, you can always keep dreaming. This was my new reality, and I was stuck in it for good. Virtual reality? What is this, Indiana Jones? No. Nah. So what, he only like attacked a small portion of the city? Or the town, or whatever this place is? I like this place. Reminds me of Booty Bay in World of Warcraft, kind of. Greetings. I am the summoner Yuna. I have come from the temple in Besaid. What Booty Bay? Oh, they got booty. The lady there. Summoner. If there is no other summoner here, please allow me to perform the sending. Shouldn't they have one? Ah, oh, thanks be to you. Our loved ones. We feared they would become fiends. Please, take me to them. Yeah, just uh, follow the trail of dead bodies over there. That's where they are. Bring out your dead! We'll go see what we can do to help in town. Huh? Well, it's kind of late for that, but... Okay. First things first, save. Absolutely save. Let me make sure I got the right equipment, though. Or the right drop I want. Okay, good, good. Water strike. Okay, save, 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 save. Good. Whew. Before the power goes out or something. Not that that's ever happened to me before. Like, winning a rare drop and then the power goes out before I can save. But I'm always paranoid that that will happen to me one day. And I'll be mortally pissed off about it. Maybe it's a childhood memory that I've just repressed or something. Could be. But I wasn't really obsessive about rare drafts as a child. Now, well, some say I'm still a child, but... Uh, what's ascending? Are we going somewhere? <sighs> you truly are clueless. Are you sure it's just your memory that's the problem? Well, my penis is the problem, too, but that's another the story. The dead need guidance. Uh, they're kind of dead, though. Filled with grief over their own death, they refuse to face their fate. They yearn to live on and resent those still alive. You see, they envy the living. But if they're 
dead, why and would in that time, matter? That envy turns to anger, even hate. The dark side are they. Should these souls remain in Spira, they become fiends that prey on the living. Nuts. Sad, isn't it? The sending takes them to the far plane, where they may rest in peace. Summoners do this? Hmm. Shouldn't they have their own summoner, though? I mean, we're, you know, right next to a temple. Spoiler alert, there's a temple here that, well, actually, Waka did kind of say that earlier, but that's kind of why we're going here. Shouldn't there be, like, a whole bunch of summoners? Or at least one that they got here? I mean, maybe the summoner in the local village was killed, but they can make a phone call and say, hey, uh, we kind of got attacked by sin. Could you send a summoner down here real quick before our... Loved ones become zombies and attack us and such. That, that would be nice. Thanks. Well, I suppose it's better than becoming a Seath. Gotta have some explanation for why all these monsters explode or melt or dissolve or something or other, depending on whatever video game you're playing. Or just fall into lava. Yeah, I'm totally ruining the mood here, but, well, the hell with it. That upsets you that much? Well, you haven't been watching my videos for that long, have you, viewers? Ooh, pretty dance. So you just kind of wave your wand and dance and that's it? No magic words or anything? Sure seems to be taking you a while. Well, at least we made it. Sorry, we kind of dragged here, Sin here with us, but well, as long as we're here, we might as well send you guys to the afterlife. I wonder where those guys are going to go, anyway. Oh, so this is where they all end up. Huh? No. No, just kidding. Uh, next time you do the sending, Yuna, could you do it a little faster? Seemed to take quite a while to send them there. See, why can't you just do it like this, Yuna? One little flash of light, boom. They're it must be tough. They're ready to go to summer. the afterlife. Yuna chose her own path. She Not to mention the explanation the of all that was rather meant. quick too. All we can do eh, whatever. is protect her along the way. Until the end. Until the end? Of the game? What's the end? Playoffs? No. No. Uh, there aren't. Well, actually, yeah, there are playoffs, aren't there? Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, playoffs. She defeats Sin. Though, I'm going to save that for uh, post game episodes. Oh. Yeah, I suppose they do kind of have playoffs in this game, don't they? I hope. I, I was just I jacking with you, viewers, okay. but then I was like, oh, wait, yeah. <sighs> You did very well. They've reached the far plane by now, but no tears next time. Mm -hmm. uh, no tears from your I differently colored there eyes. Would never be a next time. I wonder why your eyes are no colored differently. No more people being killed by sin. Eh, I wouldn't worry about it. Probably no more sendings important. for Yuna. Everyone stood there watching her. It was strange, and somehow horrifying. I never wanted to see it again. I never noticed that Yuna's eyes were colored differently until someone pointed it out to me. I guess I just don't have an eye for detail. <sighs> okay. It's the part you've all been waiting for, viewers. This is why you've been watching the LP. Not stay away from the summoner. Did they just, like, mistranslate that line or something? I mean... 
he wants to be a blitzball player, right? I mean, this isn't some dumb shit kid who doesn't know what he's talking about. I, oh, what do you mean you want to be a blitzball? Captain Walker's waiting for you. What is wrong with you? This isn't Majora's Mask. You don't have the Goron Mask. That's another game, and I'll probably get to one of these days. Whoa. Right, how's it going? Yeah, rescue little girls like that all the time? Thank you for saving me from a scraped knee. I probably wasn't going to die from that, but you know, all the same, take what you can get. Hey, hey, all right, potions. Yeah, that guy, like, lost his memory or something from sin or something or other. I don't know. I'm not going to talk to every NPC around here. It would take me too long. But yeah, everyone's probably like bitching and moaning about sin or something or other that I don't really need to go into because it's pretty much all the same. Sin destroyed my village. I hate doing homework. They keep on running out of hot dogs at the cafeteria. People are always complaining about their problems in these games. But anyway, yeah, we get Albed Primer number four. Did I remember to get three? Okay, good, good, yeah, just making sure. Been a little while, I just wanted to, yeah, make sure that I did all that correctly. Hey, how's it going? Got a little captain in ya? Be safe, our ox. Huddle. What are you guys doing there? Will we pray for victory? You're not gonna rebuild that boat. High summoner O'Holland. What are you gonna do with that? Temple here. Yep. Lord O'Holland was once a great blitzer, you know. Waka. Hmm? You're gonna take apart the boat and use it for scrap or something? Good. That's the best thing I can come up with. Is this right? It just kind of looked like they were fixing it. Something wrong with enjoying blitzball? For no reason. Is this really the time? This is the only time. The players fight with all their strength. The fans cheer for their favorite team. They forget pain, suffering. Only the game matters. That's why Blitz has been around for so long. At least that's what I think. That's why I play video games Whatever for so long. You say. Let's play. Whatever Andy. you say, your Right. Temple's beyond the jungle there. Let's go. Well, before heading on over there, let's go to the shop here. Now we can get some new items. So let's do that. We want to get a piece of armor for Kamari, if I can find it. Huh? Where? Yeah, I know he has a weapon here. Oh, there it is. Okay, phew. It's like, where does armor go? Okay, so we got that. Sell any extra weapons here? I've heard some people say that... Oh. You know, let's equip the variable mod. I've heard some people say that as far as, like, getting equipment drops from enemies, if you have more of one type or another, you'll have a tendency to get more of the one you have less of. Like, if you have more armors in your inventory, you'll be more likely to get weapon drops. I don't think that's the case. I haven't personally observed that. But might as well. I've got plenty of room in my inventory, so... I've also heard some people say that the person who killed the monster has a better chance of getting an equipment drop, and that I think is pretty true. Because, I mean, as you saw from the boss fight there, so you just made the kill, he got the water strike drop. So, it's not foolproof though, and it could just be coincidence, I don't know. But anyway, let's take care of our uh, sphere gridding for the day after the boss fight. Got a lot of good stuff there. Got a lot of ability spheres from Sin Spawn Eucles. And if you're light on ability spheres, you could skip these null elemental abilities if you wanted to. They're not that important. But I think it's a pretty good idea there. So I'm going to take care of that here. And I think we're in pretty good shape here. So let's just save up and then we'll head on out to, well, the Kilika Woods to get to the 
Kilika Temple and then Kilika the Boss. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!